Dr. Manu Shahid, I'm a face and surgeon, and I still am international hospital learning for Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, seated here for this uh, NAQ event. I welcome all of our esteemed participants and the attendees to this great event. And I'm thrilled to have you here with us this time. I'm impressed by your journal, and I look forward to having this fantastic program filled with this insightful and innovative discussions. So I do hope that you will greatly benefit from these activities lined up for you today. First and foremost, I want to thank this organizing chairman and the committee members of Gandhi Smriti Kuwait. And also, I want to express my deepest gratitude to the team of Indian Nurses Federations of Kuwait who coordinate this extraordinary events here. Also, I would like to especially thank Dr. Robin, orthodontic consultant, to inaugurate this program on behalf of this organizers of Grandi Smriti Kuwait and the Indian Nurses Federation of Kuwait. Once again, I welcome you all. Today, we will discuss about one of the interesting topics of in this health education program, which is the mouth cancer. So the mouth cancer is distributed high in countries such as developed and developing countries like India, China, Germany. So in early stages of the oral cancers, the signs are unspecific and not and easy to be recognized by the patients. As a result, most of the patients diagnosed at the late stage, dropping down the survival rate from 80 to 90 percent to 20 percent. That is very important. Thus, the outcome of the mouth cancers is pure, and it is very urgent to raise the awareness of the public health education. It is noted that the oral cancer patients are usually aged from 50 to 70 years of age. Right. Huh. However, the increasing number of the oral cancers in the Indian populations have been observed in the ages, possibly due to the risk factors and their personal habits. So we will discuss in detail about this topic. So in that topic on again, mouth cancer. So early detection and prevention. So what is cancer here? So then you know cells and bricks stones are gonna compare you on. So what is cancer? Just your whole of building is made up of several bricks. So our body is made up of a cell. So even if one brick of the wall develops a crack through it, eventually the holding is damaged. So similarly, even if one cell of the body grows out of control, it may cause a cancer. So if a repair of the walls are not done on time, the entire holding will collapse. So similarly, if a cancer is not detected and treated at an early stage, it advances and thereby causes a death of a person. So health education is very important. What is the importance of the health education? So any combination of learning experiences designed to help individuals and communities improve their health by increasing their knowledge or eventually their attitudes. So, in oral cancer incidents in the Maranya, so around 3,50,000 cases are 
So, are there 177,000 deaths annually worldwide? It is there. So, 80% of the cases are from South and South East Asian countries. So, India is the name. It records highest cases of oral cancers, most prominent in Indian populations. So, oral cancers or the commonest cancers among the men compared to women. So, he mouth cancer is better. He barred with the better. So, it is a part of head and neck cancers. So, it can come in the lips, tongue, gums, teeth, throat of the mouth, under the tongue, proof of the mouth. And also, smaller areas of the gums behave the disability. So, in parts of it, it's a very common area it can have. Pandemic cancers, apart from the oral, it can come in throat. Throat is very behind the nose, pharynx in the brain, in the back of the mouth. This is called voice boxes. It is other. So, we are going to report that we are going to get an area of it. So, it will be mentioned as it's like a carcinoma, a sarcoma is called a laryngeal cancer. Then other than this, sinus cancers and salivary gland cancers. Coma. So it is a medical term. It's a types of cancers. So what are the risk factors, formal risk factors? First one is, we all know that smoked tobacco, smokeless tobaccos and alcohol, bitter nut chewings, and other viruses. Risk factors. So any attribute, a characteristic or an exposure of an individual that increases the likelihood of developing a disease. Other than risk factor on the brain. So what are the risk factors here? Most important risk factors: smoking with tobacco or smokeless form, with a cigarette, tobacco, BDs, cigars, shisha. So, going most commonly, everyone using a seashell, we, that, we all know that. Then, smokeless forms like pan masalas, pan beetle nuts, we all know that. Then, most important one is alcohol consumption. So, this is the important thing It's a sharp thing. What is mentioned as sharp thing here? So, any constant irritation by the soft tail. So, uh, I mean the sharp, uh, sharp teeth to the tissues, it will develop like uh, ulcers. Then uh, ill-fitting dentures. When I have poor oral hygiene, it is also one of the risk factors. Then radiation exposure is this very important. So it is also very harmful. If the dose of the radiation goes above level, it can cause a little change in the tissues. This picture is not a but I think it is a risk factor. Ultraviolet exposures, tobacco, dietary habits, alcohol, and papilloma virus. So, dietary habits is very important. It will play a very important role in the oral cancers. So, next we will come to the signs and symptoms of this small cancer. So, what is the signs and symptoms? So, mainly it is an ulcer. Any ulcer in the oral cavity persisting for more than three weeks in the mouth. So, it requires an immediate attention. Second one, we all know that pain. Christmas in the very difficult to open the mouth. Then, a bleeding from the ulcers. So, here are the main symptoms. Inability to open the mouth and the jaws. mouth open the mouth and the mouth. Then ulcers, recurrent ulcers in the mouth, which will bleed easily. Then pain or numbness in the area of ulcers. Then blood in the sputum. Swelling in the neck region, mouth and the face. So, this e picture is called white patches. 
Why not write patches in the mouth? Inability to open the mouth, blind in the sputum. So, for the advanced stage, the neck is not the swelling. So, it is considered the advanced stage. So, this picture is not the same. It is a lip and corner of the mouth. The cancer occurs in the corner of the mouth. In picture, it's a type of cancer which comes under the tongue or the floor of the mouth. So, this is also one of the examples for a tongue cancer. It is a variety of cheek cancer. It will form as a cauliflower growth. So, this is one example for corner of the mouth cancer. Sinus cancer is a very one of the very rare cancer in the head and neck part. So, the tumor which arises in the roof of the mouth. So, it is one of the very rare type of cancer. And finally, there is a jaw bone cancer, the cancer which comes in the jaw bones. And this is an example for salivary glands cancers. So, this patient was consulted me with, it, I think, uh, two weeks before with me, with an ulcer in under the trunk. So, it is a tongue cancer, finally diagnosed with the biopsy. So, another type of cancer is between the gums of the wisdom teeth. It is also one of the very rare type. Okay. So, now we are going to what is a pre-cancer? Pre-cancer no one has done. So, it is a stage with the mild changes in the cells. So, these signs are more prone to develop a cancer. So, this stage is a preventive stage. So, in pre-cancer stage, we have to find the signs. So, one is the white patches. So, mouth is the white patches. We have to find reddish patches. We have to find a spider-like, web-like appearance. We have to find a fibrous mouth appearance. So, we have to find Individual items like a white pancreas. It is not a white pancreas. This is a pre-cancer lesions. But it is not a pure cancer. Pre-cancer lesions. So, in this stage, we can prevent the transformation to the cancer. So, the first picture is a white pancreas. Leukoplakia is a medical term. So, this is the appearance of spider webs. So, in medical term, for example, the oral lichen planus is mostly common in women. Stress-related on them. So, it is one of the key malignant lesions in the parainal. So, it is like the oral submicrous fibrosis with the pain. So, in patients, it is very difficult to open the mouth. So, in the middle of the mouth, there will be a white branch so, mouth will be like a fibrous nature. So, how this oral cancer spread to other parts? So, mainly the oral cancer spreads from the mouth to the lymph nodes. And it is blood will spread out. So, mainly it will spread to the lymph nodes. So, this picture is like a carnival. It will spread to the other parts. So, primary oral mouth element, it will spread to the lymph nodes. Then it will reach the blood vessels. Then it will reach the lungs, liver, brain. It will be a distance metastasis and then foreign. It's otherwise called as organ metastasis. So, this picture will come to the cells on again. It's like a normal cell. So, it will reach to the pre-cancer stage, second picture. So, finally, it will reach the invasive cancer. And one of the other rare cases, spread of 
cancer from other parts to the mouth. That is, oh, kidney cancers, stomach cancers, gastric cancers, or lung cancers. So primary cancer will be a kidney. Then secondary, it will come from the stomach to the mouth and the kidney to the mouth and lungs to the mouth. So it is also one of the very rare type. So now we will come to the early detection of oral ovary cancers and cancers. So now we can detect how we can prevent and detect this disease. So first one is self-examination of the mouth by yourself. So how you will do the examination? First, you have to consult with the specialized doctor who is specialized for oral and face. Then you have to come do every six months of oral and dental checkup. It is very important. Then screening of oral cancer is also very important, especially to attend the health education programs. Imagine there are some special tests which is called as a biomarkers. It is an advanced blood test. Then final one is a biopsy. So in picture kind of another, how we can do a self-examination of the cancers done by yourself in the mirror. So the first step, use your four fingers and the thumb to stretch out the inside of the right cheek. With a good light illuminating the inside of the mouth, check for any white or red patches, sores or swelling inside the mouth. So, now we can see if there is any ulcers or a red patches or a white patches. So, this is called a self examination by yourself. Then, specialized doctor consultations. So you should get a clinical examination done every six months. It is one of the very important steps here. So there are some examinations that only a doctor can perform such a feelings of lymph nodes in your necks and other tests if needed. So in picture like the biomarkers of the oral cancer. This is advanced blood test. So, what are the biomarkers of adrenal uh, cancer? That is HSC 70. So, if these biomarkers levels are increased, there is a chance of some kind of things happening in the, inside the body. Then, the confirmed procedure is a biopsy. We all know that. So, we will remove a small amount of uh, uh, tissue inside the mouth. We will send for the histopathology. So, it will give a clear report. So, e picture prevention from pre cancer to cancer. So, now we are going to pre cancer to cancer prevent the amateur. So, first picture the display is on the parameter. It's like a simple. Mild alteration due to smoking tobacco, it will cause a mild alterations. Second picture left, after a few years later, it will transform to some changes. Then final stage will be a cancer. So we can prevent these uh, steps here from first to second picture. Then coming to prevention. So there are the levels of prevention here. As I told before, there's uh, if you see a red patches or a white patches or a fibrous mouth by doing a self-examination in the mirrors. So when you consult a specialist doctors, they can identify if there is a, any issues which is related to pre-cancers or a cancer. So it is uh, preventable and uh, treatable at these levels. So can the cancer be treated? So there is a question. So most of us may think that cancer cannot be treated, but the fact is that cancers can be treated, but which and when? Yes. The cancers of the mouth, uterus and the cervix and the breast are very common among the Indian population. So it can be treated if detected as the early stages. 
So I have a question. I am a healthy person. I am not using a tobacco. I am not a smoker. I am not take. I take a healthy food. I am not a drinker. So will I get a cancer? Yes. So apart from all other risk factors, there is an important thing here. It is human papilloma virus. So it is a virus which is transmitted through a sexual sexually transmitted virus. It is otherwise called HPV virus. So E virus again is spread by another. It's a spread of HPV virus through a vaginal, oral, and anal sex, and unprotected sex with infected person of HPV, multiple sexual partners, then skin to skin can get contact. So these types of HPV viruses can cause breast cancers, head and neck cancers, cervical cancers, and other type of cancers. So this is important area. Angel, it will cause the head and neck and cervix cancer. That is very important. So how to check this virus? So there is a specific test called Pap smear test. So. It is a cervical smear, and all the females after the age of 30 years of the age should go for this test every two years. So it will show you the clear if there is any cellular changes. Apart from this, how we can prevent this HPV virus? There is a specific vaccine known as HPV vaccine. The name is a Gardasil vaccine. So the name of this vaccine is called as Gardasil vaccine. So everyone should go for this vaccine to prevent this HPV virus. There is no other uh, reactions or any other uh, allergic reaction for this vaccines. It is a very protective vaccine. It will prevent oral and cervical cancers. So coming to the treatment part for oral cancers, it is very important here. So, if uh, detected early stages, the oral cancers can be treated by surgery. So, we do a surgery by removing the affected part. So, the person can be saved up to 90% cured. If neglected in early stages, oral cancer advances, this can be treated by removing a large part of the mouth. So the chances of person getting cured by only 50%. So this even cause some deformity to your mouth and your jaws. So if neglected above all these stages, the oral cancer advances, it will spread through all your bodies. This may be not even be cured by surgery or a chemotherapy or a radiation. And the success rate will be 40%. Here the screening is very important as I told, tap smears, biopsies and blood biomarkers. So the regular screenings can catch the pre-cancerous cells and the treatment will be very easy and chance of full recovery rate is very high in mouth cancers. So finally we will come to easily preventive measure, how we will prevent this. These are the measures how we can prevent. First one is to avoid tobaccos in any forms, smoking or smokeless tobaccos, avoid alcohols, do a healthy sex and the partners, maintain a good oral hygiene, it is very important, then get your human papilloma virus vaccine as I told the Gardasil vaccines and very important clean and soft bristle toothbrush. Use the toothpaste which does not contain a tobacco. If any suspicious ulcer is detected on self-examination in the mirror, you should consult the doctor very immediately. And the healthy diet should be maintained. Like vegetables, fruits, lentils should be more in your diets. And moreover, Oil, butter, fried snacks, sweets, carbonated drinks should be keep away from your diet for your healthy life. And apart from this, 
red meat it is also one of the more carcinogen which will cause uh, oral cancers and other type of cancers and also we all know we are more specifically eating grilled meat here so it is also more carcinogenic effect which is a cancer producing mechanism thanks for your attention